Hey, I'm Alec, and today in 3D Printer Troubleshooting Guide, we're gonna talk about parts not sticking to the bed. Sometimes you might start a print, walk away and come back to find the entire print moving around stuck to the nozzle. Now this can happen because the part didn't stick to the bed, and there's a couple different causes for this. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is make sure that your bed is level. Now, every 3D printer has a different way of doing it. Some use little screws on the bottom of the bed, others have automatic bed leveling, capacitive touch. We have a whole video on the different types of bed leveling that you can do, whether it's manual or the printer does it itself. But you just wanna make sure that the nozzle is the same distance at the front, back, left, right, anywhere on the bed. Because if it's at different heights, it may be really close and sticking well in one spot, but way too far and just peeling up later in the print in other spots. Now, you can still have the error where your bed is level, but parts aren't sticking. And that can come from the fact that your nozzle is leveled too far away from the bed. So if you have your nozzle thinking Z0 is about here, you have this big gap where parts aren't really being squished against the bed. So it's going to print completely level across the bed, but there's just not enough force squishing the plastic against the bed, which is what causes it to not stick and peel away. So what you can do is you can use baby stepping either in the LCD using matter control or whatever different way you have of controlling your 3D printer to just lower the nozzle just a little bit so you have a negative Z offset. In some cases you will need to move the Z end stop because it's bottoming out so you go to Z0 and it's, it's as close to the bottom as it can get and that's still not close enough for the bed to get there. So very very seldom you might need to move the Z end stop lower so that the, the nozzle can actually reach the bed. Now if your bed is level, your nozzle's at the right height but your parts still aren't sticking, you may want to check what bed adhesive you're using. We have a whole other video about the different bed adhesives that are out there, but some materials like blue tape, others like glue stick, others hate glue stick, so you just want to make sure you're pairing up your material with the right adhesive. Sometimes if you have things just right, you won't need adhesive at all. Other times it's pretty important to have that on the bed before you start the print. Now, if your bed is level, your nozzle's at the right height and you're using the right adhesive, well, you may wanna make sure that your bed isn't dusty or dirty or you have grease from your fingers on the bed, which is preventing it from sticking. So what you can do is you can clean off the bed. If it's PVA glue stick, just use some water from the sink and just squeegee it off. Or if it's some other adhesive, Use isopropyl alcohol just to really make sure that the entire bed surface is clean. This works well for build tack or PEI and capped on tape. That'll take all that grease off pretty well. Once you've done that, you can reapply your adhesive and make sure that you're using the right temperature for the material you are printing with because PLA can do well with no heat or with some heat, whereas something like ABS needs a lot of heat in order to stick. Now, if that's still not working, you can try adding a brim to your part, which is just a brim like on a top hat so it has a larger surface area pressed against the bed to try and prevent it from losing grip and coming off. So if you have something that's at a fine point, well it may just have too little actually keeping it adhered to the surface. So if you have something like a brim added to it, that's just a wider footprint to keep stuck to the bed. So hopefully if you're having the issue of your parts not sticking to your printer's bed, that these tips and techniques I've provided in this video help solve your problem. However, if they don't, feel free to email us at support at matterhackers.com or check out our 3D printing troubleshooting guide link below if this issue doesn't match yours either. I'm Alec from Matterhackers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you like that, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all the big builds, how to's and troubleshooting guides I'll be working on. And don't forget, check out matterhackers.com to explore everything 3D printing and to join the community.